Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at the latest version of Tiny11, Tiny11 version 2311. Now this build was just released by NT Dev, and we're gonna be discussing and taking a look at it and how it differed from the last version, Tiny11 23H2. Now, against popular belief, Tiny11 23H2 actually was not Windows 11 23H2. This build, 2311, is actually based on Windows 11 23H2 and features new optional options such as Copilot, I read. Um, I actually haven't taken a look at this yet. We're going to be taking a look at it for the first time here on camera today. And I'm very interested to see what happens and how it works out for us. This is supposed to be one of the best releases of Tiny11 yet, um, reducing itself in size while adding new, new features that are optional. So let's let it install and then let's take a look. And here we are inside of Tiny112311. That is a tongue twister, Tiny112311. Um, it is gonna take us through the regular Windows 11 setup. Let me go ahead and expand our screens so you can uh, get a little bit of a better look here on what's going on. Um, this, unlike the original version of Tiny11, but like recent versions of Tiny11, support Windows updates. Uh, the original version of Tiny11 had that disabled, so I'm really happy to see that they brought that to Tiny11. Um, NT Dev has really come a long way in developing this operating system. Um, if you take a look back at the original Tiny10 compared to what it is now, I mean, this is actually becoming a viable option to use on a daily basis, especially because of those updates uh, that keeps it secure. Now, how updates will affect uh, this OS in the future, I'm not sure. Like if, let's say, Windows 11 24H2 comes out, um, or even Windows 12, would this even be able to upgrade to Windows 12? I'm not sure. But yeah, this is actually starting to become a pretty good operating system that I would consider using daily if I had a computer that wasn't able to handle regular Windows. So right now we're gonna go ahead and go through the getting ready phase. Um, it's gonna go ahead and load up into the desktop. We'll get VMware tools installed and then we'll take a deeper look at this OS. All right, and here we are inside the desktop. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and install VMware tools. The first thing I notice uh, straight out of the box is that the search feature, I don't know what this is called, like the little animation in the search bar is actually here by default. I don't believe that was in previous versions. To me, and not just in Tiny11, just in general, I think adding stuff in the search bar like this is just bloatware. I just don't want random things appearing in my taskbar. I just think it's it makes the computer look unprofessional. like. Uh, things of that nature. Um, once VMware Tools installs, we're going to take a look at this OS and just see what it's like. And, you know, maybe we can get Copilot on here. All right, and here we go. This is Tiny112311. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the pre installed apps. Uh, we have Accessibility, Calculator Clock, File Explorer, Get Started, Microsoft Store, Notepad, Paint, Settings, Snipping Tool, Terminal. Windows Backup, Windows Security, and System Tools. So straight off the bat, there is just no Microsoft Edge at all. Um, previous versions did come with Edge, this one does not. Um, going ahead and taking a look here at settings, we can see that, yep, this is indeed 23H2. Uh, going down to system, actually about, uh, there we go, we can see 23H2, Windows 11 Pro, um, it is one of the newer versions of this. I believe it is actually the latest patches. I might be wrong. Uh, but we'll go ahead and double check that here right now. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the latest patches. I mean, there's no cumulative update. It's just like security, intelligence, security, malicious malware tool. Um, the option for Windows Insider updates, or maybe that's not Insider, just the latest updates. Uh, Windows Insider program also still appears to be here, um, which is interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the amount of storage that this OS is taking up here. Uh, so we're using 49.5 of 59.8, so we're using about 10 gigabytes, um, which is what Tiny11 has been averaging recently. Uh, let's take a look at some task usage or memory usage. Um, we can see we're using 19% of our one core C sorry, we have a two core CPU here, um, and 1.3 gigs of RAM out of two. Not bad for what Windows 11 actually is, and the whole OS just feels really snappy. NT Dev has always done a terrific job at making Windows feel snappy like it should, not like how Windows does it today. First thing again is this file explorer is the old file explorer. It doesn't have the new bar at the top. Uh, this is like Windows 10, Windows 7 era. Um, I don't actually like that. I actually do prefer the new bar, although this one does look to be more feature filled. 
I, I do prefer the new bar. It just looks modern, it looks nice, and there's no burn to disk. When I'm actually not sure that there's a brand new Windows 11 PC that ships with a disk drive on it. Let's go ahead and go to enable Windows features. Um, and let's see if I can actually turn some things on or off, like Copilot. I'm actually not 100% sure where you would enable Copilot or where that feature lies within this OS. I'm not sure. Um, I know Edge was an option to turn that on. Uh, I'm not actually seeing it anywhere here. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're not going to spend too much time digging around for that tool to get that stuff on here. Um, it's a little disappointing that it doesn't come with a web browser by default because it's going to be a pain to get one on here. I mean, you have to have a USB drive or a network share. Um, it would be a pain to get one on here. Paint is included by default. Um, the new paint, obviously. Uh, does this one have layers? I forget. I, I've never actually played with paint that has layers in it yet. Um, I'm not seeing the layer option, but yeah. Like I said, I've, I've not spent a lot of time in Microsoft Paint. Um, since they redid it. So I'm actually pretty impressed with how this ended up turning out And I do hope that one day Microsoft paint can become a like, you know a competitor to Photoshop not a real competitor, but like if you want to make a YouTube thumbnail you can use Microsoft paint Beyond the scope of this video. I mean the, I'm talking about Microsoft stuff not tiny 11 stuff um but yeah, that's pretty much it for this OS. I mean, it's again, it's a tiny OS. There's not much to really take a look at here. Um, very minimal, very basic, which is how I like it. Uh, lots of the bloat removed, um, minimal system usage. I really like this. NT Dev has always done a terrific job at developing these operating systems, and this is not this is not an exception. This is a truly terrific job that he has done developing this OS. And so with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, make sure to subscribe if you're new out here as we do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.